So today I'm going to show you how to add the username here and also the thumbnail image uh, right here. So for instance, if I log out from here and I log in, you can see we have a username Kyneton the Genius and also my thumbnail. If I go to the employees page and I go to employees, you have a list of employees. I could actually log in with Saffron. For instance, I can lo log in with Saffron. I can also log in with Lyudmila. So let me try to log in with Saffron. Uh, sorry. Let me try to log in with Saffron. So let me log out and log in with uh, Saffron. Uh, and if I log in at this point, you can see that we have uh, an image of Saffron and also his use, uh, her username uh, right there, as you can see. Uh, maybe we can just do it uh, for the last time. Let me just try to me log out and log in with Lyud Mila. L U I D Mila and log in. And you can also see that you have her picture showing up right here. Okay, so this is a completed application, so I'm going to put it away. But the one we are working with, which is this one, if I log in, for instance, you see that we don't have, uh, let's say, let's see. So you see that we don't have the username uh, the username showing up here. So we have this template, uh, Jennifer Smith, showing up right here, and this is not the logged in username. So let's go ahead to correct it. This is part 38 of our building our Spring application, complete Spring application using Spring Boot, and we are talking about Spring security at this time. So let's go to the page. So we are going to take it one step at a time. Let's first add the username. And once we make sure that the username is showing up, then we are going to add the thumbnail. The first thing I want to show you about the username, before I continue, please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And also, if you have challenges following my lessons, please let me know. And again, the complete tutorial on this, on building this application I showed you, is right there in the description box. So you can go to the first part and continue to follow. So if you go to the pom.xml, I will show you the, 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 the spring, uh, the, the dependency that is responsible for displaying the username easily. Now we have time leap extras spring security five. So this is what you use to display the username easily. There's a different way to display the username, but using this time leap extras makes it very, very easy. But there is a catch. The syntax, I took me some time to figure out the syntax. So let's go to the page. For instance, let me just go to the home page. Let's first add it to the home page. For now, we are going to be adding it to all the pages, all the pages for now, because we've not uh, talked about master pages and content pages. So I'm going to search for in this index.html, I'm going to search for username. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to do control F and look for and search for username. Uh, okay, and we have username here, you see, username Jennifer Smith. So we don't really need this Jennifer Smith to show up here. We need the name of the actual logged in user to show up, all right? So the first thing we can do is we can actually remove this Jennifer Smith. Once we remove this Jennifer Smith, then nothing shows up. Now we are going to specify what is going to show in case the username is not found or in case there is some problem and the data of the user is not uh, is not gotten, then what shows up here? We can actually show up guest. So if the user does not log in correctly or maybe this, the person has sighted the page but he's not authenticated, then we can show guest for pages that doesn't require login. So if you run it at this time, we are going to be seeing guests. Okay, so let's go to the main thing. I'm going to now tell you what you are going to write here. Now you are going to say th text, okay? Now pay attention to the syntax of this expression I'm going to be writing because it's really very, very important. th text is equal to open and close quotes and start with the dollar sign and then open and close curly braces. That is the first thing you want to do. This is the very first thing you want to do. Every other thing you are going to be typing is going to be inside these curly braces. Make no mistake about it. 
So the expression to get the logged in username is authentication.getPrincipal.get username. So I'm going to say authentication dot get principal and this is a function get principal is a function so we are going to open and close this uh, bracket and i'm going to say dot get username is also a function as well so once we do this the username is going to show up but but there is something you need to know this expression inside here uh we need to begin with the hash key okay that is the time lift syntax to display the logged in user. So this expression here gives you the logged in user. So like opening and, co and closing color braces and the dollar sign now gives you the, the uh, is additional time lift sy syntax. That is what is required. I, I can't really explain why it's like that. So at this point, if we log in, we are sure that the, 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 the logged in username is going to display in the web page. All right. So I'm going to run it at this time. I'm going to run this application and let's make sure that the logged in user name is displayed. And then we move on to the next part, which is to display the image of the logged in user. All right. So let's see. Um, Tomcat start some port 8080. Let's see. Um, okay, perfect. All right. So I'm going to go back to the page. And I'm going to kind of refresh, and it's going to ask, ask me to log in again. Now, Kyneton the Genius is not there, uh, because I didn't, uh, my, my name is not actually in this, but in this very application, but Saffron is there. Saffron is there. So I'm going to just click on login. Now you can see uh, that Saffron is displayed here, as you can see. So Saffron is the logged in user, the current logged in user, whatever username you use to log in is displayed here because I entered that expression. Um, I'm going to log out and, oh, sorry, okay. So for some reason, the logout uh, page does not, it's not linked well. So let me just uh, use login. And I'm going to go to, let me use Ludmilla. And I'm going to log in and you can see her name is shown up right here, okay. So hopefully you understand this perfectly well. Now the second part, which is this part here, which is this image here, is also very, very easy. The reason is because the name of the image, the name of the photo or the name of the file is the same as the name as the username. So for instance, if we go to the static folder right here and go to IMG and go to photos, you can see that we have the usernames and that is something you need to do because if you give the names of the of the images or the photos to be unique, that would be fine because usernames are unique. So you don't have any conflict in the photos that display. Another thing you can use to name the photos may be the IDs. The IDs of the of the of the of the users can also be used. So in this case we use the username of the user to be the name of the image and then we can add .jpeg at the end. All right, so what I can do at this point, uh, I can replace this SRC. Again, we follow the same principle. Uh, we are going to start with, or oh, permit me to just copy all of this. If I copy all of this, I'm going to paste it here. All right, I'm going to paste it here. Okay, fine. So what happens at this point is that we have src is equal to username and I'm going to append .jpg because the files are JPEG files. I'm going to simply add at the end of this uh, text, I'm going to say uh, add.jpg. Now I'm putting a quote inside a quote and this is going to now be a single quote. Let's see, uh, let's get it correctly, okay. It's going to be single quotes, uh, okay, uh, yeah. So dots, uh, let's see. Now there's something you need to know about this. So let me type it first, then I'm gonna explain the JPG, dot JPG. So we need a dot here before the JPEG. Now we have SRC is equal to, okay. So 
let me shift this because I'm going to explain something at this point. All right. So now, whatever we have to be SRC is equal to, all right, SRC is equal to, to specify a link in time leave, you need to use uh, the at symbol. So we need at and we have open uh, open curly braces, right? That is what we are going to do. And I'm going to close this curly braces again at this point. That is what you should do. So everything we are going to be writing here using the ads key and open and close curly braces, we are telling time leave that this is a link, that this is a link. And the text of the link is what I highlighted for you now username.jpg but we also need to specify the directory of the photo the directory containing the photo because what, what we have here right now is the file name for instance if we go to img photos now we have src is equal to leadmila.jpg or leenda.jpg or solace.jpg that is what we have but we need to tell time leave the directory of this photo so basically, if you go up, you can see uh, to assess the images directory or to assess some directory, you simply use the, the path to that directory. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have any images I have assigned. Okay. So let's just go back to continue. I think I've almost lost this. So sometimes this happens. Okay. So let me find it. Let's go up a bit. Okay. Okay, let's see. So this is where we are. Okay, so I'm going to now specify the directory of the photo directory is going to be slash is going to be. I'm also going to enclose it in single quotes because I'm putting uh, quotes inside quotes at this time. So it's going to be it's going to be slash img and slash slash img slash photos. All right, slash img slash photos. Right. Okay, so slash img slash photos. Once you put the home slash, the template engine knows that it's going to go to src main resources static and start looking for this directory. Okay, and then we need to concatenate. We need to concatenate with what we already have. So I'm going to say plus this. All right. So this is something that took me some time to figure out. So don't take it for granted. Just let me know this is being useful to you. And also subscribe and like my video because this takes me effort and time to figure it out. So at this point, we have src is equal to slash img slash photos slash the, the correct file dot jpeg. That is what we will have now. And in the index page, this is going to display. I'm going to run it and let's make sure everything is fine. So relaunch this application, and at this point, uh, we are going to go back to assess the page. Now this is where we worked in this IMG, and we also worked in this username uh, span. So you can do the same thing for all the pages except the login page. So Tomcat started at port 80. I'm going to refresh this page, and if everything goes fine, we should have. Uh, we should have it working so I'm gonna log in and right now you can see okay it doesn't show up for whatever reason uh, let me refresh the page okay so it doesn't show up let's check where the problem is coming from we have class is equal to use them th text is equal to this okay slash authentication dot get principal mm. Let's see. Um, so we have dot jpg. Okay, we have slash img slash photos. Okay, we need a trailing slash. We need a trailing slash here. That is where the problem is coming from. So you need this, the other uh, the leading slash and also the trailing, the leading and the trailing. Okay, that is fine. Okay, I'm going to save everything and I'm going to run this application again and hopefully it's going to work perfectly at this point. So, if uh, Tomcat starts at port 8080, uh, let's see what we have. 
All right, so I'm going to refresh the page and I'm going to log in again this time, the same username, Saffron, and log in, all right? So you can see, hmm, this is really, okay, let's check. I think I have error somewhere. So we have IMG, we have photos, our photos, okay, so, um let's see uh, the problem coming from dot jpg okay slash img slash photos src is equal to ads authentication dot get principal dot get username uh, let's see. Um, THSRC. Okay, so sorry. Yeah, so we need to do THSRC because it's time leap, so it's going to be THSRC. So sometimes these errors occur. So THSRC because we are working with time leap. Okay, so finally, let's just get it working. So I am 100% sure that now it's going to work perfectly. This is 100% sure it's going to work. So let's see how it goes. So Tomcat start again on port 8080. Um, again, all the codes I'm using, the complete application, you can find it in the description box. You can find the link to the complete tutorial. So at this point, I'm going to refresh and I'm going to log in again using Saffron using saffron and i'm going to log in and oh this is not <laughs> oh no so actually we need to set the 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 width and the height so let's let's use the width of 38 and height of 38 so let's say h-e-i-g-h-t -E -E is equal to 38 and you can also use 40 and width is equal to 38 as well right so save everything and run. So sometimes you can actually get very funny error messages. Uh, that is one thing I see. Um, debugging skills is really very important in programming. So I'm going to go back here and refresh the page and use same username, Saffron and login. And finally, we see the image right here with login. So if I go back to login again with a different username, login with a different username, for instance, I use Yudmila, L-U-I-D-M-Y-L-A, I log in, you can see her name shows up and also the image shows up. So this is how to display image th thumbnail as well as uh, login username in a web page. So in the next part, I think we are going to be talking about how to upload images to the server. I would like to thank you for viewing. I remain kind to the Tech Pro. If you have challenges, let me know. And just know that I'm always there for you.